Hi, my name is Dr. Shauna Shapiro, and it is a pleasure to be here with you. As a professor and scientist, I've spent the past 20 years studying the science of mindfulness and seen it transform thousands of lives. As we enter this new year, it is an ideal time to set intentions and make New Year's resolutions. And yet, research shows that up to 80% of people fail at their resolutions. Why? Well, have you ever wondered why it's so hard to change? It's probably because you're missing one key ingredient, self-compassion. And yet, all too often, we hold ourselves to impossible standards of perfection and then disparage ourselves when we don't live up to them. It seems that no matter how hard we try, no matter how successful we are, it's never enough. So what do we do? We try harder. We work more, we push, we strive, we set new intentions. Our efforts make the hamster wheel of life spin faster and faster. This pursuit of perfection, of doing it right, leaves us feeling inadequate, exhausted, and besieged by a sense of deficiency. Paradoxically, the harder we try to find happiness by living up to some ideal of perfection, the more elusive real peace real happiness, real connection become. We lose touch with what matters, with what is deepest in ourselves. All we see is that we're not measuring up. To transform our lives, we must liberate ourselves from the myth of perfection. We must let go of the judgmental voices in our head. I know you think these voices are helping, that they will motivate you, that they will make you change. But science shows that this judgment, this shame, shuts down the learning centers of the brain. What this means is that every time we judge ourselves, we're literally robbing ourselves of the very resources we need to change. The surprising solution is self-compassion. When you treat yourself with kindness, you turn on the learning and the motivation centers of the brain. You give yourself the resources you need to change. You can begin to change your mindset from one of self-improvement to one of self-liberation. Self-liberation means freedom from our limiting, judgmental beliefs, from our idea that there's something wrong with us that needs to be fixed. Our constant attempts to get it right and to be perfect leave us in a state of exhaustion never resting in the present moment and never happy. So please take this to heart. The goal of life is not to get it right once and for all. It's about practice, not perfect. Perfection isn't possible. But change and transformation are possible. One of my favorite sayings from the Zen tradition embodies this paradox. You're perfect as you are and there's room for improvement. Change, then, is a direction, not a destination. It happens in small increments. We can't instantly erase an unproductive habit or attain a behavior we want. Yet instead of seeing this as a normal process of change, we tend to punish ourselves each time we fail. Personal change is not supposed to be linear. There are stops, detours, setbacks, serendipities, and surprises. Transformation is longitudinal and experiential. Layer upon layer, we literally integrate new ways of thinking, feeling, and behaving as we lay down new pathways in our brain. But for this to happen, we need self-compassion. We need to begin with microhabits, small shifts, not trying to do it perfectly, these small shifts in behavior lead to big changes. Taking baby steps gives us permission to lighten up, to take the pressure off. It purposefully primes us for success early and often. And with each accomplishment, we become more motivated to achieve the next milestone. These little moments and little victories lead to momentous change. Even the smallest experiences count especially if repeated again and again. 
To help yourself stop worrying over the ultimate destination and focus instead on direction, try asking yourself, can I do just 5% more? For example, 5% more exercise. Or can I relax 5% more? Or trust 5% more? And if 5% feels like too much, can I do 1%? When we liberate ourselves from the notion of perfection and place our focus on direction instead, we open up to an important fact. There are infinite possibilities in every moment. So let's practice together setting an intention. I'll guide you through. The key is to really let your intention come from your deepest heart. Let it come from a place of love and dedication instead of fear or judgment. So letting your eyes close and just take a moment to settle into the body. Feel your breath. Let your attention rest in the present moment. And inviting in your intention. What is most important in this new year? What is your dream, your aspiration? It could be for greater health or greater joy or greater connection and relationships. We begin with the larger picture of what we truly want, what direction we want to set the compass of our heart. So listening, listening for your deepest desire. Find a word or phrase that feels true. You'll know its rightness by the way it feels in your body. There'll be an ease, a sense of yes. And once you find a word or direction in which you want to head, this is your larger intention, your aspiration, I want you to let your eyes open and go ahead and write this down. This is your compass, your north. And after you've written this down, I invite you to write down the name of one person you're going to share this intention with. By writing and speaking our intentions, it deepens our commitment, deepens our motivation. And as you're ready, allowing your eyes to close again, And from this place of deep self-love and care, I invite you to reflect on one small step you can take in this direction. Make it simple and clear. For example, if you want to start a meditation practice which will help move you toward greater clarity and wisdom, perhaps committing to one minute a day for the next 30 days. Or perhaps you want to feel more gratitude in your life and commit to focusing on three things you're grateful for each night. Or perhaps for you, it's an exercise routine to move you in the direction of health. Find one simple practice, one thing you want to commit to, one small step that will move you in the direction of your north. Feel this commitment coming from self-love, not fear, not judgment. When we care about ourselves, we take care of ourselves. And as you're ready, you can let your eyes open and write down this commitment, this one practice. Writing it down and then again writing down the name of one person you're going to share this with.
And when you're ready, allowing your eyes to close one last time. And just take a moment to feel the wholesomeness of your intentions. Thank yourself for taking this time to cultivate greater wisdom and clarity. And dedicating yourself to creating the healthiest, happiest new year possible. And when you're ready, you can let your eyes open and taking one last moment to dedicate this practice that it be of benefit in your life and in the lives of all beings. Thank you. <laughs>